Welcome everyone to the UTS College Mid-Year Information Session. My name is Suad and I will be your host this evening. I was a former UTS College student and now I'm studying a communications degree at UTS. So before I start, I would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation whose ancestral lands UTS College now stands. I would like to pay our respects to the elders both past and present as the traditional custodians of knowledge for this land. So the purpose of this session is to let you know that you have options and to demonstrate how we can ensure your articulation to a guaranteed place at UTS. Tonight, we have an agenda that will cover any information you may need while looking for options. So this will include pathways explained. You'll get to hear from students about their experience, about the pathway programs, student support, how to apply, and then we'll have a Q&A with education reps from each of the course streams. So if you have any questions throughout the entire session, please use the Q&A function down below. There will be staff typing answers through the session and I'll pull some of the more general ones to get the program managers to answer them later and you'll get to meet them. So to start us off, to help explain what pathway programs are, I'd like to introduce Rebecca Sheldon. Rebecca is the learning unit manager at UTS College and she has over 10 years experience of developing programs, workshops and initiatives to support students in their learning and help them to achieve success in their studies. So pretty impressive. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much, Suad. <laughs> nice to be here. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, can you explain what a pathway is exactly? Yeah, well, it's essentially a different option or route to university. So um, as we are the pathway to UTS. We help you to really develop the knowledge, um, experience and skills to succeed at university and beyond in your future career or business. So we work in collaboration with UTS to ensure that you're um, to ensure that you're prepared for your next step at university. And you'll hear more about, more about this, I'm sure, but when you successfully complete your studies at UTS College, you received that guaranteed entry into your corresponding UTS undergraduate degree. So that place is held for you and no one can take that from you. Okay, thank you for that. So with that, what is the difference between UTS College and UTS? Well, our key focus here at the college and everything we build into our programs, our support and our people is to really assist students to build the academic skills and the learning that they need to thrive at UTS. So what that means is that the college focuses on really preparing students for their learning experience at UTS. So here at the college, it's more of an intimate learning experience and a smaller community for students to really develop their academic ability in. Okay, thank you. So can you tell us why first year at university is so important and how this informs the design of our pathway programs we have? Yes, well, the first year of university can be extremely challenging for students. So a big campus, lots of people, a new way of learning and a new, quite a big workload. Um, and that can be quite overwhelming. So pathway courses are therefore designed to help students build the skills and the knowledge that they need to succeed in that university environment. Yeah, I definitely know the Pathway Program helped me my first year. So going off that, how is a UTS College Pathway course different from a typical year at, like a typical first year at university? Yeah, well, as you would know, Suad, so the, the key difference really is the smaller community of students that you're learning with. So we always hear back from our students, such as yourself, after they've completed at UTS, just to say how much they benefited from progressing through their course with um, their UTS college friends. Um, so as I said previously, we build into our programs, um, everything we build into our programs and the support is to really assist the students to succeed at university. So the community really supports students to feel like they belong to their cohort and their discipline of studies. Um, plus students at the college have so much um, assistance. So you're never really on your own in your learning, but 
interestingly, you will realize the support we offer and the way we offer it actually helps students to develop as um, independent learners. So they're able to seek help where they need it and ask for support and advice when they need it, which makes a massive difference when you're learning at a university like UTS. Yeah, it, it surely does. I can vouch for that. Um, so could you share with us what does learning look like at UTS College in comparison to high school and to prepare students for UTS? So it, it looks like a very um, engaging and active experience. So our, our new design of learning really allows for students to take charge of their learning. So whilst being supported the whole way. So students are not seen as passive learners or containers that need to be filled with knowledge. Learning is an active experience and we've curated learning experience through our new curriculum that allows for meaningful, meaningful and engaging collaboration for learners. So we have designed learning so that much of it is self-paced and students can engage um, at the time it suits them. Obviously, we, we still have our classes, and um, but those dedicated times when you meet your class and your teacher each week are ded dedicated to um, collaboration and activities that enhance everything that you've been doing in your self-paced learning. So everything in the curriculum has been designed to align with the outcomes you need to meet to succeed at UTS. Uh, so everything you do, each activity, reading, assessment, etc., is assisting you to develop academically. So it's more meaningful for you and for your future career. Okay, and the last question is, how does UTS College help those students at risk of falling behind or falling through those cracks? Um, yeah, so we, we do have a number of services to support students in that way. Um, we have what we call dropout detectives. So it's an active risk system that alerts teachers and advisors to any issues with attendance or assessment submission. Um, we're, we're therefore able to reach out to students very early on in their studies and to see what assistance they really need. We have Studiosity, which is a 24 seven um, online tutoring support service, which students can access any time of the day or night um, with any support they need. We have a study success advisor team that are dedicated to supporting students with anything that's going on that's hindering their ability to study. You know, stuff goes on in your social life, stuff goes on in your family life, and sometimes it gets in the way. So we have a team to support um, students to get back on track and back on program progress. We obviously have our teachers, teacher presence. So even though self-paced learning is expected, the teachers are always there behind the scenes, ready to assist and give feedback and support your learning. And just, just so everyone knows that personalised support is not only for students that are at risk of failing behind, but it sets all students up to succeed at UTS. And we have integrated a lot of the support to assist students um, to build the skills they need to complete their assessments. Um, but in addition to that, the Help Centre Advisors and our Studiosity Support Service can assist you with um, basically what you personally need to work on in terms of building your academic skills, your language skills, communication skills and, and your discipline skills in maths and sciences. So um, we do have plenty of support um, along the journey if you need it. Thank you. I'm sure it's really relieving to hear how supportive you will be if you come to UTS College, because I know that I was. So it, it really does make a difference. So thank you so much, Rebecca. Um, and Bye. if you guys have any questions for Rebecca, just please add them in the Q&A function and she'll be sure to go there and answer them. OK, now moving on, as it is always important to hear from other students, we have some of my fellow UTS College alumni to share their experiences of studying at UTS College and going through a pathway. So I'd like to introduce Stefania and Nooks, if you guys would like to pop your cameras on and say hello and introduce what you studied at UTS College and what you're currently studying at UTS. You want me to go first? Yeah, go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hello everyone. My name is Nooks and I study the uh, Diploma of Communications, majoring in digital and social media. And now I'm in my third year uh, doing communications, majoring in digital and social media. 
Hi, my name is Stefania. I did a diploma of science, majorly in the physical aspect, and now I'm doing a Bachelor of Forensic Science in my second year. Okay, so to get us started, the first question is, could you guys share with us why you chose to go to UTS College and how you were feeling like at the time? Because I know when I joined UTS College, I was pretty stressed and then I came upon it um, and I realized that it was a really good um, pathway into UTS and I applied and now I'm here. So I know Stefania, we kind of had the same stress with the ATAR. So would you like to explain yes, your situation? Definitely, of course. So as Sarad said, I didn't get the ATAR that I wanted and I didn't get into my course. And then I tried to find alternative pathways because I specifically wanted to get into UTS. So one day I was scrolling through my phone and an ad for UTS College came up on Instagram and I was like, oh, okay, I'll just try, see if I get in. And when I got in, I was so relieved. I was so excited that I could go into my second year of forensic science and I didn't have to miss out. No, yeah, it, it definitely took away that stress from the ATAR that it all brought. And Nooks, I know your situation was completely different. So can you share with yeah, us so, what that was? Uh, yeah, I, I, so I came into, um, I guess, education really, really late, um, like, like really, really late. And um, I wanted to, to do stuff around uh, content creation and I wanted to find the closest degree I could find to making memes. And uh, UTS had uh, the communications degree around digital and social media. And unfortunately I wasn't able to get into it. So like my feelings were hurt. Uh, however, uh, in that period, a really good friend of mine was talking uh, about UTS college and how it's a pathway course. And that like, it's a really good way to get into university if you don't get in through the front door there's always like a back door uh and i was like oh okay I'll, I'll get into that and i tried it the process was so easy it was um the staff were so great at, at doing this whole situation and because of the degree that i'm doing which is communications they even uh guaranteed me going into second year uh once i complete the deployment i was like oh sweet that's me and that's how i got into uts college and uts okay awesome so now um, Stefania, can you start us off with what is the difference between UTS College and UTS? UTS College provides more support and it is a guaranteed pathway into UTS. So you don't have to have an ATAR, um, which takes off a lot of stress, especially to HSE students. Nooks, do you have anything to add on to that, the difference between UTS College and UTS? I think from my experience, because I came in as a mature age student, um, it gave me the confidence to be able to learn the skills I need to learn um, to get ready for, you know, big campus, which is UTS. Um, I've been out of education for so long. I think it'd be like five or six years uh, when I finished the HSC. Oh, I feel so old. And um, yeah, I was quite worried. So if I if I were to go to um, UTS straight into first year, I think I'll be completely lost compared to if I did it uh, at UTS College. So that, yeah, that's my big differences. Yeah, so again, UTS College is a pathway into UTS and UTS is a university. So it's just a bit different. Um, now, the third question is, what is the process like to get to UTS from doing a diploma at UTS College. Stefania? So my process was very smooth. Um, we got a live webinar because mine was online um, and they told us how, what we needed to do to apply, how we needed to transition, what some of the questions, some of the complicated questions we needed to answer and how to do them. And overall, if, after the webinar, if we had any other questions, our teachers were so, so. Understanding of our whole transition and would help us in any way possible. And what about you, Nooks? What was the process like to get from UT, to get to UTS from being at a diploma, doing a diploma at UTS College? I think the experience for me was very, very smooth. 
Um, I was very thankful to have you because you're my UTS college bestie. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it, um, having friends that you made at UTS college definitely helps with the experience of going into, uh, into your second year. Um, just having a group of friends off the bat is such a great experience just to transition. Um, the seminars were very helpful. And again, the, the staff at UTS College, they want you to succeed. They want their students to succeed. And they'll do their very best to make sure that happens. So there wasn't any um, feelings of me not feeling confident to ask them, hey, how do I do this? Um, what, uh, what are the paperwork? What do I need to fill in? What do I need to sign? Uh, they were very helpful. So yeah, it, it was very painless. Um, yeah to say, yeah yeah so again like the process it was it was a bit of more of a relieving process rather than trying to you know find other pathways because it was a guaranteed entry into UTS I personally didn't feel stressed that I wasn't going to end up at UTS because I knew that doing my diploma at UTS college was going to get me that place at UTS which I really really wanted um, and so it kind of alleviated all that stress of trying to find a way into UTS. And so going on to that, for many, this is the most important questions of the day. We want to hear all about transitioning to UTS from UTS College. So how prepared did you feel thinking in comparison if you went straight from high school into university? Nooks, do you want to start us off with this one? Oh, do I have to? Yeah, no. So... <laughs> Um, one more time, he, he asked me the question. Okay, so we want to hear how it was like transitioning to UTS from UTS College and how prepared did you feel in comparison from going straight from high school to your into university? Yeah, so I went to a public school, public high school, and my experience there definitely did not prepare me for university. It definitely didn't prepare me for uh, the self-learning um, expectation um, that is at UTS. Um, however, UTS College did. It, it gave me the skills in regards to like referencing, but also encourage tasks and assignments that help you build on those skills on self-learning. Um, this is going to be a really, really, really big um, culture shock, I guess. Um, for those who come straight from high school into UTS, but I think this will be a great experience for, uh, for those who are watching this, who are considering um, coming to UTS College to know that you're going to be in probably a better mindset in regards to going into second year if you were to do uh, UTS College. No, yeah, 100%. And what about you, Stefania? So my biggest difference from transition from high school to UTS college and teachers. I noticed the difference with the individualization with what UTS and UTS college expect of you. I feel like if I went straight into UTS, I would have had a harder time adjusting in my first year specifically. But going through UTS college, they the teachers gave me like individualization, but they gave me the support I needed when I needed it. So transitioning through high school, UTS college, and then UTS benefited me because of how I organized my life. No, yeah, I think, I definitely think that the support provided at UTS college helped me in my first year there, rather than starting straight from high school to first year of university, because like you mentioned, Nooks, it, it's a really big jump and it's a bit of a shock all of that individual learning and it's all on you. So having that support there and like Rebecca mentioned before, the dropout detector, it really kind of, it really helped. It made the experience way better. And now going back to what Rebecca said, she mentioned some of the great support services offered at UTS College. Can you share some of them that you tapped into while you were at UTS College, Stefania? So I used two specific um, help. I did Studiosity, which I guess and is 24-7. It helps with your grammar, your referencing, your essay structure, and just overall your assignment. And because it's 24-7, you would get it fairly quickly and you could make so many adjustments before the deadline, which I found very helpful. The other support I got was from the Status Success Advisor. 
because in high school I got provision um, that transferred into UTS College and the process for that was so smooth that when I transferred into UTS, um, they continued and they shared my personal information with UTS, which made everything so much more better. Yeah, I can I can definitely say that all of those support services just made everyone's experience just 100 times better than it would have been. Um, and to round it all up, what is your top tip for potential students who want to study at UTS College? Nook, start us off. Okay, so uh, I highly encourage uh, those coming to UTS College to just make friends. Uh, make friends with your classmates, make group chats for assignments, because these are going to be the, the experiences that would improve the way in which you do your studies. Um, Suad was the assignment manager, coordinator person that like kept us on track and be like, hey, look, don't forget, this is happening this week. Uh, don't forget, we've got this uh, meeting tomorrow, like it, that, that kind of stuff um makes your experience at UTS college and then into UTS a whole lot better than if you were to do it solo um my second tip would be to just enroll early get that in there chuck it on the list so while you're waiting for your ATA you're not stressing because you can still get in um yeah yeah what about you Stefania my first would tip would be is to just apply because it takes off stress for your HSA and it's also a very good backup option if you don't end up getting into your preferred course. My second tip would definitely be to join as many groups and clubs as possible. You can join UTS clubs as well as UTS college clubs and you feel like you're part of UTS as a first year student. So I would definitely, definitely try. No, yeah. So just wrapping it all up, definitely apply early if you can, because if I would have known that um, UTS college was a thing before I had my UTS, uh, before I had my A-timing, um, I would have definitely been way less stressed because all of that stress isn't really good for you. I would say take care of yourself and applying early would definitely help take that stress away that you really don't need while you're trying to focus on the a time. also Try to enjoy your last year of high school. It's so different when you come to uni. So enjoy it while you can. And yeah, so thank you guys for answering all those questions. Um, I'm now going to move on. So we have heard about the what's and the why's. And so now I'd like to introduce Chris, our senior student ambassador to talk about the hows. So Chris is really experienced at consulting students and their families to talk about the programs we offer. So I'll just hand it off to him and he can do his thing. Ah, so uh, you're too kind, you're too kind. <laughs> Ready? Thank you very much. Um, welcome everybody, good evening. And uh, thank you so much for attending our info session. My name is Chris. I used to study the Diploma of Engineering at UTS College and transferred into, well, articulated into ICT Engineering second year at UTS. So now to, um, with this section, we're gonna be talking about some of the more details in our diploma programs, in particular, what we offer, as we can see on the screen and also potential entry. So, all right, to get into it, we offer six diplomas here at UTS College, as you can see, business, communication, design and architecture, which has two streams, design and architecture, engineering, IT and science, which has also two streams, life science, and physical science. So essentially, if you don't make the academic requirements for a degree of these corresponding diplomas at UTS, you'd be able to come to us, do the equivalent of first year subjects or electives. And from there, if you make the grade point average GPA, you'll hear about this a little bit later, which is like the average of all your subjects, you'll be able to get potential guaranteed entry into UTS and have those subjects be accredited to those second years to that second year, possibly, depending on which major and which diploma, uh, which degree you're articulating into. So most of our diplomas, and to give y'all a little bit of a lesson, a uh, little bit of a little bit of information, most of our diplomas will offer 48 credit points towards a degree. Now, what are credit points? Credit points are sort of the values attributed to a subject and you a subject within a degree. And for a degree, you need to finish a certain number of credit points. But for us, we can offer 48 credit points, um, Usually, depending on the diploma, some um, some diplomas or some majors will require 
uh, we can uh, provide a bit less. But what the um, the key thing is, we can provide you with guaranteed entry into UTS. And once you finish, you finish with a diploma. So going on to the next slide. Now, we have multiple lengths of diploma just based on your um, entry requirements. So the, the three main ones, well, the three, the three key ones we have are accelerated, which is eight months, two, two semesters, standard, which is 12 months, three semesters, essentially an academic year for us, and extended, which is 16 months, so four semesters. So standard, standard is, as it implies, the standard course. So you'll be able to finish your subjects within the year and then say if you were to join at the beginning of the year for the diploma, you'd be able to join for the second year at the beginning for your degree for most um, degrees. Now, accelerated is faster with eight months, but it's condensing all that 12 month subjects into eight months and you still have that gap waiting into the first the beginning of the following year so just depending on what your situation is but extension uh, extended which is four semesters is a bit different in that um, you will have a semester of sort of foundational subjects to help sort of bring you up to speed just in case if you need more time to improve your skills or sort of if you didn't get the grades or you are missing key subjects such as mathematics for say a diploma like engineering but those are the three um, lengths of diploma we have with standard three semesters, 12 months being our middle range. And on with our next slide, we have an example of sort of a pathway program to go into business. So we'll explain the, um, the sort of HSC subject average that we'll need, but to give you a quick um, summary, we don't look at ATAR, but we'll explain that in a little bit. So you'd be able to finish high school, do a diploma of business with us, say for 12 months, and then go straight into the second year of um, the bachelor's of business with 48 credit points guaranteed. So going into the next slide, here are only some of the examples that you'd be able to articulate into after finishing your diploma into a degree. So essentially how it works, quick summary is you do the diploma with us, and then with that diploma, you can choose which degree and which major you want to transfer, you want to articulate into going into UTS. So once you finish that, you'll be able to choose, but then you'd be also be able to change your mind by discussing with us during the time of the diploma. So some of the notable key, the notable key things you'll see here, laws, but the Bachelor of Laws is an option for the Diploma of Business and Diploma of Communication. But besides that, you'll see some You'll see Bachelor of Design, Design and Architecture, Landscape Architecture for Diploma of Design and Architecture, and also the various IT, Engineering, Communication, Business, Science, essentially what we see on the screen here. So with the next slide, we have our new campus. So we have we are moving in semester three, just coming up, and the new building that we'll be in is building five. So some of you might have known our old classic blue building in Thomas Street, our great, our grand home for so many years, but now we are going to be officially a physical part of the UTS campus. So where is building five? Essentially, it's near Darling Square, which is on the way to Darling Harbor. But I'm sure, you know, once you come over, have a campus tour, you'll get a feel for where the area is. It's also near the old library, if you're familiar. So just a few exciting things there. So moving on. Now, as, uh, as Suad and some of our great ambassadors have talked about previously, we have a wide variety of student support network, uh, student support resources and networks that we use to, you know, help students come through and sort of get used to their studies, provide additional support as, we, as Rebecca said previously. So on the screen, and we'll go through it in the we'll go through it in some brevity. We have the various resources that students will have access to. So at the top, you can see Studiosity, a 24-7 live chat for assistance with academic writing, English, mathematics, sort of those fundamental, you know, education skills, study success advisors. If you have any burning questions, whether or not you want to change majors, that sort of thing, the study success advisors are the ones to go to to assist you with your education journey. Um, study success workshops, sort of, you know, more, um, more group focused activities that can enrich certain skills there. Uh, Talk Campus, which is for um, free 24-7 mental health support. So think studiosity, but for mental health. 
uh, service desk, which is essentially the IT staff and student center, which helps with any admin stuff that you might have, peer support and one-on-one -on -one tutors, help center. So all these, so all these um, resources are used to sort of assist your transition into UTS. And to take a moment, the study success advisors are incredibly important. So, you know, when it comes to, you know, when it comes to that transition, both going from high school into UTS college and UTS college into UTS, it can be, you know, we want to help you out as much as we can. And those staff members, they're excellent. They're, that's their purpose. They're there to help you at every step of the way when it comes to your education. So why students, ah, oh, next slide, please. So why students choose our pathway? So as we talked about before, and we'll elaborate further as we go through, uh, main thing, pretty sure I'm very important to everyone, guaranteed entry into UTS when you successfully complete your diploma and make the GPA grade point average, uh, grade point average mark. So get that guaranteed entry into UTS. The same first year university outcomes as UTS. So if, you've, if you're in year 12 or if you remember your teacher talking about learning outcomes at the beginning of the lesson, what the objective of the lesson is, what they're going to learn, it's the same thing here with university and UTS college. The same outcomes as UTS, which means that you'll be learning the same UTS content just in our UTS college flavor. A fast track into second year of UTS, depending on the diploma that you choose, the majors that you pick, but have that potential to save time to save to go straight into second year or have a year's worth of subjects off. So when you go into UTS, you don't have to do them anymore. Personalized support. So as, as with the previous slide and as we'll go through throughout the info session, so much support there to help assist you on your education journey. And also part of UTS campus and also be part of the UTS community. So as you're with your time at UTS college, you are a UTS student and not just accessing the UTS library and the other various buildings, but you can also be part of that UTS community, whether it is you want to play sport, join a club and society, that sort of thing. So as with your time at UTS college, you might as well make great use of it. So those are some of the uh, fundamentals coming through why students would choose our pathway as the pathway, UTS college. So, I believe that would be my section there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lord. Chris. Everything you said was so helpful. Oh, yeah. As you always, can you, you can fantastic too much, speaker. Too much flattery. Thank you. Too much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, everyone. so now I'd like to introduce Kat DiCarlo, UTS College Admissions Enrollments Manager, to take us through the ins and outs of how to apply. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining this evening. In this session, I'm going to be covering the entry requirements. I know there's been a few questions in the chat there, so I'm sure some of the answers will be there to help you. How to apply, tips on applying and making it easy for you, fees, fee help, especially if you're a domestic student, and obviously the intake dates. A standard or accelerated diploma. It costs 34000 and extended 42500 But here is important to understand what you get at UTS College are a smaller teacher to student ratio. The class sizes are limited to 20 students, so you really get to engage with your teacher. And it's a very personalized approach. You get the support that we've spoken about today. We really like to support you to achieve whatever you, you're wanting to reach and get you to UTS and get you on your road to what your potential truly is. As Chris has shared, we offer a high number of support services. We've got the academic advisor sessions, one-on-one -on -one tutorials, study skills workshops, peer mentoring. We really want you to succeed. It's important to note we're also not government funded. Therefore, those that are eligible can apply for fee help. We continually want to reinvest in your future. So we're, we're working with UTS. So you really want to consider us as an option. Fee help. As, an, ex, uh, as a, an approved higher education provider, you can get fee help loan to pay part 
or all of your tuition fees. It's available to eligible domestic students. Uh, clearly, there's an application process that you do have to go for. It's an Australian government loan scheme designed to assist eligible students in paying your tuition towards your tuition fees, whether it be all upfront or whether it be partial. Clearly, there's, as I mentioned, an application process. There is a loan fee 20% for 2022. Unfortunately, they haven't advertised what, what that is or what that looks like for 2023, but we're hoping that will be released soon. Australian citizens uh, are eligible, holders of humanitarian permanent resident visas, and some New Zealand citizens are also eligible to apply. During the application process, you will be asked to submit a request for fee help form, which will be assessed by my team uh, and instructions on how to complete the form will be, be provided to you along with the offer letter. But it's important to note that in order to apply, you must be an Australian citizen. You must have a tax file number. If you haven't got one, apply for one now and streamline the process as you go. You need to request for a fee help loan. That's the form I just mentioned. And you will need your unique student identifier. At, at UTS College, we believe you're more than your ATAR. And as I've mentioned to some people in the chat tonight in the Q&A, your ATAR doesn't matter to us. We base our admission on your average HSE subject result. And some of you have asked what that means. We consider your English mark, which is two units, plus your top three board developed courses, which is a total of six units. If you are going for engineering, we do have to look at your maths, but we look at your average HSE score. And depending on what that result determines what you will be eligible, whether it be the accelerated program or the standard. Whilst I can't give you a comparison of what an ATAR is to a HSC average, what I can share with you is that when you apply to a university through the UAC process, clearly each course has an ATAR requirement that the universities um, set. Your ATAR is your ATAR, and that will determine whether you meet that requirement. But that's not the case for UTS College. As I just mentioned, it's as simple as four subjects, English and your top three. So when you might have quite a low ATAR, it may mean that your HSE average enables you apply to um, one of the UTS college diplomas. So don't be discouraged by the ATAR. Don't worry about it. Have a look at your HSE, HSE score, share that with us, apply and let us help you on your journey to UTS. The entry requirements, as you can see on this slide, we've. Um, if you're wanting to get into an accelerated program, we need a 75% average. That's the eight month program. For the standard program, which is a 12 month program, we need a 67% average. And for the extended program, which is a 16 month program, it is a 63% average. But if you have any questions on any of this, put them in the chat um, and we obviously have the Q&A at the end that we can help and answer any questions. We have three intakes a year. Next year, the first intake is the 27th of February, followed by June and then September. If anybody happens to already have an application in there, our next intake this year is the 26th of September and applications are still being accepted. So if anybody online um, has their qualifications already, there is still an opportunity to join us. Um, we are accepting applications up until the 19th of September, and anybody who wants to accept, they have until the 21st of September uh, ready to commence. But if, if you're still waiting for your HSE results, don't worry. Use us as an option, apply, choose, choose UTS College and see so that you've got options when your HSE results comes out. You don't have to wait until your HSE results are there. 
it's very easy to apply. Go to our website. We have an application portal where you can submit your application. There's no cost and there is absolutely no obligation to accept. You apply through your website. If you have any questions, there's a live chat there that will help you. You upload your information, you select your choices and you submit it. My team will get back to you in a few days. Um, and basically we just then wait until your HSE results are out. And then we can help you on your way, depending on what your decisions are once, uh, once we know the outcome of your results in December. So some tips on how to make things as easy as possible. It is easy. There's no application fee. There's no obligation to accept. You submit the application. It's quick and easy. You fill in the details. You provide proof of your identification. You let us know what you're wanting to study and what you um, are hoping to achieve with UTS. If you have your tax file number in your USI, then absolutely let us know that. Provide any information that is relevant to you and your studies at this time. Help us to help you and we will come back to you as quickly as we can. And like I said, as soon as those um, results are out in December, we will be in touch to let you know what that outcome is for you. Any international students online here today? Uh, again, you can go to our website. We have lots of trusted education agents that you'll be able to uh, engage with and that they will help you submit your application to us. They will give you all the information. They will give you advice on documentation that is needed and assist you in any visa issues or visa questions that you may have. And any other questions relating to this or anything that I've mentioned today, please raise it in the Q&A or submit um, your Q&A question and we'll answer you online. Thanks. Thank you, Kat. That was really, really helpful. Um, okay, so now let's go to the Q&A panel. If we don't get to all of your questions, we can follow up. There will be a request, a call at the end and our students will be available online, including myself. So today we have Kat from admissions, which you just heard from her. We have Rebecca as from who you heard before from general and student support. Um, we have Jasmine for business and IT. We have John from comms, um, Paula from design and architecture and Justin from engineering, science and foundation studies. So I'll just get some of your questions up. Now, the first one for Kat. Um, what happens if my HSC subject averages are not high enough for the diploma? Uh, look, unfortunately, the HSE averages that we calculate are your best top scores plus English. And obviously, I've mentioned those percentages. So if, if unfortunately, those aren't met, we won't be able to offer you a diploma course. Okay. And another question for you, Kat. There's a few one a few here for you. So um, what if my average is below 63? If your average is below, it depends how low it is below 63. So we have had some circumstances where, uh, where you're looking at the averages and it may look like you may meet. We would look at your whole academic background and there are opportunities for consideration. But again, like I just mentioned, if, if the entry requirements have not been met, it's really hard for us to make an offer for you. Yeah. And once you complete your UTS college diploma, can you choose any UTS course? Or? So when you make an application to us, we do like you to choose your preferred UTS course. However, if you're still unsure, that's okay, because we understand that throughout your studies, you may change your mind or your preferences, you may learn something new, a new subject and think, ooh, that really interests me. I, I think I want to shift my decision making for my UTS course pathway. That's all fine. You just need to articulate to us when you commence. And then during your studies, we will support you through that so that we can make sure that you are aligned to the subjects that you need to achieve into the degree that you're trying to get to at UTS. And one last question. Um, with the HSC average calculation, does it factor in bonus points? No, unfortunately, we don't look at bonus points. That's all part of the UAC assessment along with the ATAR. So uh, we would look at your HSE average and then we would obviously have discussions with you about what you're eligible for or what your options are at that stage. Thank you so much, Kat. 
Okay, so I have a question for Jasmine. Um, uh, ICT lectures and tutorials conducted on the UTS College campus, and are some of these conducted on the UTS campus? Yeah, I think I would say most of the IT classes are conducted at UTS College campus. And there are some special occasions where we bring our students to the UTS lab. And this, I think from next month, this next semester onwards, we are moving into one of the UTS campus at Building 5. So we will have uh, some classes or uh, most of the classes running uh, at UTS campus, building five. Okay, um, and we have a few more questions for you, Jasmine. So someone asked, am I able to transfer into a Bachelor of Cybersecurity through an IT diploma? That is a very interesting question. Just to share with you, UTS, is going to have two new courses, which are the Bachelor of Cybersecurity and the Bachelor of Artificial Intelligence. And these two courses will have their first intake in autumn 2023. So we have been informed and we are in the process of updating our articulation. So good news is the Diploma of IT will be teaching the same core subjects as the Bachelor of Science in IT. So Bachelor of Cybersecurity and Bachelor of Science in IT will share the same core subject. So we are very confident that we will, our students in Diploma of IT will get the articulations into the Bachelor of Cybersecurity, which will be uh, commencing 2023. Okay, and another question for you is, someone asked, my son would like to apply for the ICT diploma. Does he need to select his subjects carefully to maximize his chances of entering UTS second year? Can you repeat the question again? Sorry, sir. So, um, my son would like to apply for the ICT, the ICT diploma. Does he need to select his subjects carefully to maximize his chances of entering UTS second year? Okay, thanks. For in the Diploma of IT, we have eight uh, subjects, which all the Diploma students will be studying. So you don't have to choose a subject. So the, of the eight subjects, you will get 48, students will get, get 48 credit points toward their second year at UTS. So the, they don't have to choose a subject. But I think before they, before they articulate to UTS, we will, they will have to decide what major they are going to select. Okay, and one last question for you, Jasmine. Um, sure. If I do a diploma of engineering extended, would it be possible to do a double bachelor of engineering and science in my second year, or would I just be able to do a double bachelor in engineering? Uh, maybe Justin will be the best person to answer this question for science and engineering. Do you mind? Yeah, I can answer that. Uh, Thanks, you, Justin. <laughs> no problem. It depends on uh, which double degree uh, you are referring to. Um, so because the question is not very specific, I can't answer you right now. Uh, probably should uh, refer back to our website or you can leave your contact here and we will be able to reach out to you later. Okay, thank you. And a question for you, Justin. Um, someone asked, if I want to do biomedical science at UTS, what is the best way of doing this? Um, so uh, as, as uh, you may know, the UTS no longer offers the Bachelor of Biomedical Science. Instead, Suen can choose the Bachelor of Medical Science just medical science, okay? So there are two majors uh, on offer as part of this degree. So the first one is medical and health related sciences. And the second one is pathology. If you are really interested in biomedical science, you should choose the first major, which is the medical and health related sciences in the Bachelor of Medical Science. Thank okay, you. thank you. And another question, um, someone asked, am I able to do a diploma of science and thus go into a Bachelor of Health Science? and then transfer to a Bachelor of Nursing. 
Uh, this is very tricky. And actually, um, for our Diploma of Science, we only have guaranteed articulation to the Bachelor of Degrees offered by the Faculty of Science. Uh, the Bachelor of Health Science and Bachelor of Nursing are in fact over, uh, actually offered by the Faculty of Health. There, therefore, there is no guaranteed articulation between the Diploma of Science and these two degrees. Uh, you can still apply for these degrees after the Diploma of Science, but if you are admitted, you will have to start from the first year in either of these programs. Okay, thank you, Justin. Um, Paula, I have a design question for you. So someone asked, I saw on the UTS website that the intake for architecture students from UTS College was in spring only. So if I select the accelerated program, will I still be able to go to UTS next year? Yeah, sure. So this is, um... You know, people are saying that some courses get into UTS in second year and some don't. So in the particular case of architecture, you receive the whole of first semester credited to you. So at UTS, you need to start mid-year. So students who start the accelerated program this coming semester will make the intake, which will be mid-2023. Okay, and another question. Um, what software do we use in design diploma? Uh, so I think this also goes to comms as well and a couple of other diplomas. We have access through UTS to the Adobe suite, which is commonly used in all of the design uh, subjects. And in the architecture stream, we focus on Rhino which is also the software that the students are learning simultaneously at UTS. So that when you go through to UTS, you're on a level playing field with them with respect to what they've been learning and what you'll learn at UTS College. Okay, thank you. Um, John, I now have a question for you. Um, what bachelor's degrees will the Diploma of Communications lead me into? Thanks for that question. Um, qu quite a few, actually. I'm just aware of time, so I'll have to keep this quite brief. But the, the, the communication street, you know, options at UTS are actually quite vast. Um, animation's not quite online yet, but business consulting and technology implementation, digital and social media, journalism and sports media, media arts and production, media business, media practice and industry, music and sound design, social and political sciences, strategic communication well, this goes on and writing and publishing are all um, majors that you can take within the communication stream there okay thank you and this question is either for john or kat to answer one of you guys um do i have to choose my uts major when i apply for uts college or can i change the uts major after i start the course I'll jump in there for you. Uh, look, as I mentioned already, yes, when you apply, we need to know what you're intending to study at UTS, just so that we can make sure that your diploma links correctly to the credit points that you're wanting when you transfer over to UTS. But like I said, if you do change your mind throughout your course, that's fine too. And we understand that. You just keep engaged with the study success advisors and the team that's there supporting you so that we can make sure that as you're coming to the completion of your diploma, that you're on the right track to UTS. Okay, and another question for you, Kat. Um, so what happens if you didn't do some recommended courses or assumed knowledge in high school for the desired diploma in UTS college? I'm not quite sure I understand the question. Um, if it's a college related question, as in a TAFE diploma or a TAFE certificate, that's a slightly different entry requirement. And clearly because the AQF that's delivered um, at, at a college could be slightly different to a HSE result. So we would need to see the academic qualification to be able to then look at what that eligibility would look like for what diploma. Okay, and now we have a long question for you. Um, so my son is a domestic student, 17 at application, but the form is asking for the mother's birth certificate and citizenship or permanent resident certificate. 
as they were born in Australia and I'm Australian citizen, I don't have either certificate or to provide him for the application and he can't move forward without them. What do they do? Upload a blank piece of paper and then we'll deal with it and have a conversation with you when we're making the assessment. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, Jasmine, I now have another question for you. So will completing a diploma in IT allow me to get into the Bachelor of IT Co-op BIT scholarship or is it exclusive to students leaving high school? Finishing the diploma of IT will, will, will help students articulate to Bachelor of Science in IT. Uh, the, the, the degree that you mentioned I just checked that out. It is for, it has a special criteria that the students need to fulfill. So the applicant for that particular Bachelor of Information Technology, the Cooperative Scholarship Program, will only be eligible if you're Australian or New Zealand citizens, and then recent school leavers with a ATA 90 or above. And I think the applicants will have to apply through UAC for admission into this degree. And you can, you can do that through the UTS online scholarship application form. So it is not something that we, our diploma of IT students will articulate into. Okay, thank you. And that is our Q&A done and dusted. Thank you to everyone for answering. Um, and don't worry if your question didn't get answered, we will get um, callbacks and you'll be able to ask more questions at the end. Um, so now, after this, you can still talk to us. So you can scan the QR code to speak with the student ambassador online. Some of our ambassadors, including myself, will be online tonight to answer any outstanding questions you may still have. Um, it's an also good opportunity to talk about our student life and what the classes are like and transitioning to UTS. So don't be afraid to come and talk to us. Um, we also have a campus tour next Thursday from 4 to 5 p.m. Um, and you'll get to meet a student ambassador who will give you a bit of a tour of our campus and UTS, and you can ask them all sorts of questions as well. They can also help you with application questions as, as well as or any, anything else you need help with. So the link to more information will also be in the chat function. So what's next? If you want any more detailed or specific information such as entry requirements or anything like that, you can request a call back and one of the student support teams will call you at the time you nominate. So we'll share that link as well in the chat function, or you could just apply now. As Kat mentioned, it's pretty straightforward and the link is in the chat function, or you can find it on our UTS College website. And don't worry if you forget any of the information we've talked about tonight, a recording of this webinar will be available and it will be emailed to you. So thank you all for joining us. Um, I wish you the best of luck in your search to, on, for your way to UTS. Um, I do hope we get to see you on campus with us. I'll sign off here, but if you have any more questions, the webinar will still be, opening, still be open. Um, so don't be, forget about requesting a callback. All the best and hope to see you soon.